Hello, and welcome back to Crendicraft episode 2, no, 3. <laughs> so, we've got a little bit of work in between episodes, as you can see over here. Last we have done, we did get a ultimate furnace we found. I found it as a VCO sword. We have this huge thing. We have all of these set in place. We've done a little bit, so... It's been quite good. I've also gotten a shiny pickaxe. Uh, so we did a little bit of grinding in between episodes. We have a ton of <laughs> quarries running as well. So we're getting tons of resources. So anything you want to remind our viewers? So I think last time we talked and stuff we about the magical crops and uh, stuff about the reactor and ME systems. So I guess we're ta tackling the reactor stuff first since I guess the reactor would be powering the ME system in the first place. Um, let's also let's talk about a pipe system. I'm not sure about the pipe system. I believe uh, Keenan over here will be covering that. Um, but concerning the reactor, like I, I, we actually do have a decent amount of eulorium in order to power the reactor, which is the reactor's main source of power. The eulorium is somewhere under metals, I think, somewhere. Um, do I have any in here to show people? Oh, I do have some here. Okay, so this is eulorium. Those of you who do not know what eulorium is, it's stuff to power the reactor kind of like uranium i guess except it's not uranium and it doesn't hurt you when you touch it for some reason um that's that's power stuff the rest of it i don't know we'll tackle that when it comes but the reactor also like any reactor needs a coolant and um this particular coolant that's the best well not the best but one of the better kind is called gelid creothium and who do, those of you who do not know what that is i don't blame you i didn't know until this morning um it's it's basically liquid nitrogen, but it's not because unlike liquid nitrogen, it's not made super easily. Um, it's made from a magical flamey powder that's really cold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's nothing like uh, liquid nitrogen except it's really cold, I guess. Um, and what you need to make it is creothium powder. And you put that through a weird machine that I will be trying to build today, as well as the other machines that will be necessary to make it, including a special kind of magical crop which of all things does not um, grow a particular item, like it does not grow Creothium, because that's not even where we start. Creothium has to be made on the crafting table because that's cool and fun. Um, actually, it would be if that was easy, but it's not. A lot of the materials have to be byproducts of niter, which is like nitrous, nitrous oxide or something in real life. Um, and that's made as a byproduct, so I can't even make that directly, so that's cool. Um, otherwise, it requires snowballs. Yeah, snowballs. Of all things. Snowballs, and there's no snow particularly nearby, so I'm not gonna go over there. So what I am going to do, though, is make it using magical crops, which is a combination, which is a means of co combining um, water and um, wind essence, and you use that with magical water and wind crops. Um, so I'll be baking those today, as well as well as these other machines, including the grindstone, magma crucible, and fluid transposer, which the la the latter of the all of which require redstone flux. So that's at least it's decent, um, but one of which also requires a catalyst called destabilized redstone. So that sounds fun. Let's get to it. Woo! <laughs> Piping system. We have a ton of. I'll show you guys outside. Oh. For those of you who, well, on my side, the reason I have extra hearts, I have this thing while in, uh, I think from last episode, last episode we went exploring, and in one of the buildings we found a chest, we found this hurdy gold wand, which gives me plus 2.5 hearts. Also, that jump boost Lucky I get him. is also coming from a ring called Jumpy Stone Ring of Trapping, which gives me a jump Again, boost. Lucky him. So... That's why I jump like, M. like I'm from uh, Super Smash Brothers, wearing the bunny rabbit helmet. helmet. <laughs> Over here we have, I believe these quarries are all dead. They've all are, um, gone down to bedrock. They're not dead. They're not dead. They're they're fine. They're they're totally fine. They just need to be moved somewhere. So we just need to move them. What I want to do is I want to automate instead of having it to us to come back every so often to fill to empty out these chests have these chests send to a main chest uh 
in there, which then gets put into our entire uh, chest system and sorts it out into the proper chest so we don't have to deal with it anymore. Indeed. Which, even when we start building our um, ME system, we will still be requiring this as most of the drives we will have to build, we will have to start off with the 1K drives, um, or storage cells as they're called. Uh, so we will have uh, to upgrade, so I won't be, we won't be able to store as many things in there. So we will still require these chests here to store a lot of stuff while we still wait on moving it up to our ME system. Yeah, so that's my job. So first things we need to make, I believe, is a wooden pipe. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to relocate our um, quarries, which means I have to clear inventory space. Uh, Josh? Yep. So we have our piping into our little base here set up. Our next thing that we have, I believe, on the checklist was to organize the internals. Which, Josh, I will need your help with the internals. Okay, what's the internals? So the idea was then to go from these chests to pipe all of the stuff into our massive amounts of chests that we have. Basically, auto sort. Stuff comes into the massive chests, they get sorted into the right chest to go wherever they need to go. What do I need to do? Getting right now in real life. <laughs> There's a chest in here. With a draconic staff of power in it. Mine. <laughs> what? Hey, come on! Uh, no! <laughs> Also has an AOE damage. Screw you, I'm going home. <laughs> that's that's the end. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Suck. Thanks. Hey everyone. It sucks. Remember that? That's the lesson of the day. Sucks. Alright, have a nice day. Whatever. Thanks. So, thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. See you guys in the next yeah, video. Yeah, I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>